to join us later. So formally introducing Dr. Archana, Archana with us, she obviously have too many occurred, but I will begin by reading out a brief introduction to all of you uh, so that you can obviously connect with Dr. Archana a little better. I will also outline to you how we will do this. We will, I have few questions for Dr. Archana, which I will ask her. She will uh, share her views on those questions and followed by uh, extensive time we will devote actually on your Q&A or your questions to her. Recently honored with the highest civilian award for Indians living abroad by the President Government of India, the Pravasi Bharatiya Samman and Bharat Gaurav at the British Parliament, Dr. Arjuna Sharma is a principal staff scientist at the CERN Laboratory in Geneva, Switzerland. Active in the field since 1989 in high energy physics, a PhD from Delhi University in 1989, a DSC from University of Geneva in 1996, and an MBA from International University in Geneva, Dr. Arjuna has worked at CERN experiments on R&D and commissioning of large scale radiation detectors. She is the founder and project manager of CMS GEM collaboration since 2008, bringing New technology, GEM, which is abbreviation of gas electron multiplier for exploiting one of the most sensitive detectors with the highest discovery potential. The GEM project spanned over 40 institutions in 17 countries, yielding over 75 PhDs under her leadership. Many from India and including technology transfer with Indian industries. Dr. Arjuna also serves as a senior advisor heading relations, relations with international organizations at CERN in support of CERN's objective of integrating and highlighting fundamental research towards science diplomacy for sustainable development goals. Dr. Sharma is head of the engagement office for the Combat Myon Solenoid experiment at CERN, which connects her with, the, with a collaboration spanning 57 countries and about 250 institutions. She has collaborated with events at the ILO, Geneva, and World Communication Forum Davos as spokesperson for diversity, excellence in scientific communication. She, she is well known for her relentless effort in mentoring hundreds of young students, particularly girls in STEM, via her NGO based in New Delhi. Archana is also a patent owner of a family of gas detectors and author of over 100 and 1,000, in fact, 600 publication and four popular science books. So with that very brief introduction, if I may say so, uh, and I truly mean it is brief because the, the list is too long. But having said this, welcome, Dr. Archana. Good to have you with us at IPN. Uh, it's an absolute honor to have you with us. And uh, as I mentioned to you that uh, this is just our, our start of our association at IPN, and I thought the best way to start our association will be when I formally introduce you to the entire IPN community. Uh, I will begin with my questions for you. And obviously, my fundamental first question is, a very young girl from Jhansi reaches to Geneva, and she works with the topmost brains in the world, in fact. And more than that, for you all to understand the magnitude of what CERN does, and I'm sure we are all here know about the power of CERN as a body, but the WW dot, which is World Wide Web, was actually invented at CERN. Tim Berners-Lee is what he was the founder of WW dot, which is World Wide Web, was created at CERN. So CERN is a mecca of world science discovery, if I may say, or breaking technology, breakthrough technology, which the world has seen from many scientists, like one of those scientists is with us this evening and very, very honored to have you with us. Over to you, Dr. Arshina, your opening thoughts that how a girl from Jhansi reached Geneva for that matter. Well, first of all, thank you so much, Gaurav, for the you know very generous introduction. I'm uh, thrilled to be with you know shapers of young students in the form of your network. It's impressive to, to hear from them also about how they think these kind of interactions can 
uh, you know, uh, formulate what we are doing in the classrooms. What we need really is to bring that spirit of, uh, uh, you know, the excitement and the frontiers of how we, you know, we are future ready. That's what we want to do. And for me, I can say that today it appears beautiful and nice and, you know, what an accomplished uh, career, etc. But it was a very, very, very messy ride, if I can say so. So yes, starting from Jhansi, and as you said, we share the hometown, and I studied in St. Francis Convent in Jhansi. I had wonderful teachers with me, just like uh, people around us, uh, around the virtual table. My teachers uh, encouraged me for physics, and they actually, uh, you know, um, we, we were a girls' school, so we used to go to the boys' school to go and uh, do some kind of experiments. But the basic is that even if the teacher does not know, there is the desire to learn and the desire to impart that learning to the student. Because it's clear that a teacher herself or himself cannot know everything. But the, the message really for the students is to teach how to learn. And that is the real message. for. And I was so fortunate that I had amazing teachers in school. And then when I went to over to Varanasi to do my uh, graduation. I did that from BHU. It was really um, another, let's say, set of incredible teachers who shaped my own life. And I know that uh, when I told my father I'm going to do nuclear physics, uh, just because it was for my teachers who taught me about nuclear physics. And my dad said, look, Bete, you do what you wish, but I can tell you it's quite unclear to me what is this nuclear physics. So fine, uh, you know, I just continued and uh, the quest for uh, continuing uh, knowledge, so to speak, uh, led me to do my PhD at the University of Delhi. Again, and it looks nice, beautiful, but very, very messy because, you know, um, it's a challenge, you know, it's a challenge, especially for girls at the age of when they enter into a PhD is the age, you can imagine 30, 40 years ago in our society, the, the challenges for a family. So nobody to blame, it's the way our society works. You know, uh, my parents obviously were, were quite um, uh, stressed out that now my girl, my daughter should get married, you know. And I said, no, I need to do my PhD. So fine, they, you know, we came to midway that yes, you continue your work. And you know, if we, if we have a good match, you get married. I sort of agreed to that. I said, fine, let me study harder and maybe I have some other way out, you know. And I had this opportunity of working with international collaborations. And that is the beauty of higher education and the beauty of good teachers that they open this world. And like you mentioned, Gaurav, WWW has really democratized this education and this uh, information and opportunities for everyone. Of course, when I was uh, doing my PhD at that time, it was not the WWW, but my good teachers, great teachers, who brought me in touch with these international collaborations. And while I was presenting my, my work in one of these conferences, I got the opportunity to come to CERN. And of course, that was the starting point because I fell down on the floor completely. In India, I was a gold medalist. First, first class first, as they call, right? with all the stellar CV and everything. But when I came here, you know, what I looked at around me was completely beyond any comprehension of what I had learned in school or in college or in university, simply because of the lack of infrastructure that we have in India and the lack of, let's say, the applications-based learning. That's where I developed the imposter syndrome and I started just working day and night to, to be able to uh, be somewhere at par with my colleagues in Europe. And uh, I mean, in short, I will just say that it is our, I would say, Indian heritage that tells us we need to work hard and our teachers tell us, ke practice karo, aise karo, aise karo. You know, all those thoughts keep going in your mind. And I think, Teachers really have had an incredible, uh, indelible uh, mark on my mind 
which brought me from this small town Jhansi to CERN where I'm sitting here in Geneva today and with four decades in the middle. I came in 1987 uh, to Geneva for the first time. So yes, I'm very happy to be at the forefront of scientific research and make my country proud. Oh, absolutely. We are all absolutely proud of you and uh, even more prouder is I am as in, <laughs> because I think uh, uh, Jhansi, while it's a very small town, I keep saying this uh, and, and everybody, more or less everybody here knows that I am from Jhansi. But uh, I think uh, uh, we, we are honored to have you from Jhansi and obviously India to be representing us there in Geneva. Uh, you, you pointed out something which I think is my subsequent question, uh, Archana ji. Uh, it's obviously science in itself, uh, as if today also, is a very male-dominated field. We have always believed that. In fact, there are now campaigns uh, which are talking about girls in tech or girls in STEM example. It's more of a movement. And when we look back 40 years, when you obviously were uh, trying to make your mark or maybe trying to find your footing in this space, example, uh, how difficult was it for you to really, really uh, take those steps forward considering it was a predominantly a male-dominated field? Share that journey, a little bit of that experience of yours with us, please. Thank you, Gaurav. And I loved what you said, that I am your super duper senior. So... I can call you Bitaji then, I suppose. <laughs> All right. So the thing is that it is a challenge, as you know very well, for women to even stand up in society and speak their mind. First point is that. You know? So, and we have grown up to, uh, and taught to be humble, to be in the corner, to be polite, you know. Even if you know that something is wrong, to speak up is not easy. That is the kind of traditional middle Ooh. class person that I grew up in, you know, which most of us grow up in. When I got this opportunity to come to CERN, my parents said, Bete shadi ho jayegi, uske baad jo aapke in-laws bolenge, waise kariye. You know? So these things also are a challenge, I would say, for, for any girl. However, I was lucky that my in-laws said, Bete, you have an opportunity, you must go, you know? So the family support is something very, very big. Or jane ke baad bhi, you know, you need your partner support. If you an Indian woman, hai, toh naturally, you know, your husband, husband's support is important. Your children's support is important. Because uh, in my line of work, the high energy physics or particle physics where I work, it is a 24-7 job. It's a very demanding job. So there will be some neglect to the family. And utna supporting family aapko zarurat padega. So in my time, you know, the challenges for women were different, which means ki ek to bilkul isolation hota tha. Lack of networking hota tha when there was no uh, WWW pehle to. And second, uh, there is not that ease of communication. I mean, believe me, think of COVID without WWW. Kitna halat sabka, uh, like, you know, it would have been such a challenge sanity rakhne ke liye. Absolutely. If we did not have the, this means of communication. And uh, so uh, limited communication hai, you know, uh, back then, like 30, 40 years ago, women were not really like aage ja ke badke puchna karna, ye sab to, it was not done in those days. So information access bahut limited tha. Here then there is a stereotypical bias and discrimination without anybody's fault. I'm not faulting anybody. It's the way civilization has come about. Or koi countries may different. Aap Nordic countries may jaye to waha women and men, you know, you will not see any difference in the way they operate and they, you know, um, handle themselves. You go to, you know, Middle East, it's another world between women and men. And India is somewhere in the middle where women are very much respected everywhere, you know, in the society. You know, Deviyon ki tarah se unko matlab mana jata hai ek tarah se. Lekin jab career ki baat aati hai, to then that discrimination comes out unconsciously. To ye jo unconscious bias hai na, ki ek scientist hai, to wo ek admi hi hoga. You know? Yes. Ya fir agar ek leader hai, to wo ek admi hi hoga. 
अगर एक लेडी बैठी है उस मीटिंग में एंड शी इज द लीडर बट अगर वो चुपचाप बैठी होगी दे विल नॉट इवन इमेजिन कि शी कुड बी द लीडर यू नो सो और यदि इफ यू स्पीक योर माइंड आउट जोर से या आप बताएं किसी को करेक्ट करें किसी को इट डजेंट कम इजी यू नो यू आर नॉट यू आर नॉट टेकन सीरियसली तो इसलिए जो आज मेरी आवाज निकल रही है जोर से थोड़ी सी वो इट्स इट्स रियली अ मैटर ऑफ ट्रेनिंग ऑफ मेनी 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 इयर्स क्योंकि मैं कम से कम दस साल तो चुपचाप से कोने में बैठी रही ये सोच के कि मैं कैसे बोलू यू नो एंड वेन दैट वॉज पार्ट ऑफ माई ट्रेनिंग आई वुड से कि इंडिया से आके जो एक ये जो कल्चरल uh, बायस जो मुझे, मुझे मुझे अपने अंदर से एक निकालना पड़ा कि भाई आई कैन ऑल्सो स्पीक Twenty times out of thirty, I would I would be having the right answer in my head. But I couldn't speak. I couldn't speak. You know, so that a little bit of audacity to bring it into me was a difficulty. Then, of course, you know, for women, there is a balance between family uh, roles and professional roles because all said and done, you know, biological difference. Hai. You will have a baby. You will have a little break in life. उतने में ही आदमी लोग आगे निकल जाएंगे विमेन विमेन स्टे आफ्टर की भाई चलो अब बियर पीते हैं या फिर चाय पीते हैं हम लोग यू नो वेर मेन मेन कैन कम बैक एट एट पी एम एन से खाना किधर है यू नो वी कैन डू दैट ठीक है आई एम सॉरी आई एम बींग लिटिल ब्लंट हेयर बट दैट इज वॉट द ट्रूथ इज यू नो मैन कैन ब्रिंग देयर कोलीग्स होम से आज मेरे सीनियर्स आए हैं या आज आई हैव अ विजिटर फ्रॉम समवेयर कैन वी हैव डिनर एट होम Women cannot do that, और ये सब चीजें भी बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है एक तरह से सपोर्ट में और विजिबिलिटी इन योर वर्क तो जो रिकोगशन जो मिलता है जो मैन को वो वुमेन को दे हैव टू वर्क फॉर इट मतलब ये नहीं है कि नहीं मिलता है मिलता है बट डबल ट्रिपल वर्क करना पड़ता है आपको कि वेन योर वर्क स्टार्ट स्पीकिंग देन दे टेक यू सीरियसली बाई दे आई मीन एवरी वन इवन वेमेन फॉर वेमेन एंड मैन for for women as well aaj ke uh, like uh, you know if you come to the current scenario where we are today we have improved communications you know all the people around this virtual table is amazing to see you know that anybody all of you have equal opportunity to connect to each other to reach out to anybody ek email likh dijiye aap you are you can set up a global collaboration you know of any kind that you can dream of so that थिंग इज दैट अवेयरनेस जो है ना वो बहुत एक अलग चीज है आज के तारीख में सो चैलेंजेस पास्ट में थे फाइन बट देन जो आज अवेलेबिलिटी है यू नो जो आज एक नॉलेज है एंड ऑल्सो दिस एक्सेस टू रिसोर्सेज एक्सेस टू इंफॉर्मेशन एक्सेस टू नोइंग दैट देर शुड बी अ वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस हमें तो ये शब्द ही नहीं पता थे यू नो हम तो बस यू नो इधर कुकिंग कर रहे हैं उधर बच्चे को खिला रहे हैं इधर ऑफिस का काम कर रहे हैं इधर ये कर रहे हैं यू नो ऑल वेमेन कैन रिलेट टू दैट It's like you know, Durga Devi banna padta hai har vakta apko. <laughs> so uh, un unfortunately bolye ya fortunately bolye ki women have that capacity. Bilkul. They uh, they have that tenacity to actually work towards you know giving their best in whatever role they have. You know. So um, I mean the journey is never easy. बट आई फील कि चैलेंजेस आते हैं और जब हम उनको ओवरकम कर लेते हैं तो वी बिकम स्ट्रॉगर एंड दैट या दैट इज एक्सट्रीमली इम्पोर्टेंट एंड माई पर्सनल लेट्स एक एजेंडा इज टू शेयर माई ओन जर्नी विथ एज मेनी वेमेन एज पॉसिबल क्योंकि रोल मॉडल्स बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है नॉट दैट आई एम अ रोल मॉडल और एनी थिंग आई एम नॉट से दैट बट the thing is ki just to see ki look guys it is possible usme difficulty hoti hai but it is possible and i think ki stem subjects mein jo difficult subjects mane jate hain usme very it's very important to provide this kind of awareness and you know information and mentoring to teachers as well which you are doing garav and then of course in return and in in turn in fact to the hundreds and thousands of students whose life will be impacted absolutely well said in fact uh, every sentence of yours was i think resonates with every leader here and interestingly uh, in school education i may not have uh, the complete data of global but at least in india it's a field which is predominantly i would say 
is led by women leaders, if I may say, right? I would not say dominated by, I would say led by women leaders. So I think uh, this resonates very well. And I think uh, I can very happily say this, that uh, whatever I have worked with, it's just been a decade or so since I've been with uh, school leaders. I think uh, there's no two ways about it that uh, when it comes to empathy quotient, I believe women, women truly have an upper hand over the women male leaders, if I may say so. Uh, and considering education requires a very personal touch to any young ones for that matter, I think women are best suited for this particular role. Uh, since you, I think uh, now we will, I have just a couple of questions from my side and then we will straight dive into leaders wanting to ask you questions or possibly sharing uh, their bit with you as well. Uh, when we talk about, uh, Ashnadi, about the STEM and, and I would say now it's STEAM and many other acronyms are attached to it for that matter. Uh, but, but when we talk about STEM, are you, are you as, a, as a thought leader in this particular space, are you, are you happy with the kind of progress we are making in terms of STEM and its adoption at the school level? Because this is all about school leaders here. Therefore, I'm asking that question. What is your view on that? Thank you, Gaurav. This is a very important question, and uh, I like the idea that you called me a thought leader. I did never think about it uh, like that, but um, I am definitely very, very, um, you know, um, happily connected with many teachers in India. I am very much connected with India, despite the fact that I'm living in Geneva, but I have a network of like hundreds of teachers also, just like yours, with whom we work and why. Tell me that why did I start this kind of uh, initiative where I could be at least somehow touching the, the roots in our country? You know, that is very important. What happened is that I studied physics in India. I came here. I found my lacuna. I tried to fill them up. And I had, you know, I'm the crazy person who has two PhDs for this reason, because I took the second PhD to fill up whatever I thought I could to come up to speed on what was required here in Geneva, right? So my son, actually, when he became school going age, he went to school here and he started studying physics. Now, I said, beta karlo, yo to main left hand se tumko help kar dungi. You know, that's what I thought. Now, when he started studying, believe me that uske jo assignments aate the school se, I mean, it was so challenging for me to actually address those assignments. Then I dived deeper into understanding ki inka education system kaise hota hai. So what they do is that they first used to do, uske school ka example bata rahi hai bas aapko, ki they used to first do a, a little experiment. Then they used to ask the student to come up with a theory to explain the experiment. And then they would teach that theory in the classroom. So this was incredible. Okay. You, you see, so an example is that you take a marble, like a kanche, put it on the ground, measure it in a tube, and measure it how it will rise up. Okay? Because it will bounce off the floor and it will come up from that. Correct. Tube. You keep measuring the height with which it will come back, because you are putting the height of the height of the height, and that measure karke steel ball, marble ball, ye ball, wo ball, etc. ko measure karke, eventually you'll come back with the resilience quotient and you'll come back with the elasticity coefficient and you'll come to the Young's modulus and density and pata nahi kya kya and all that, right? So you come back to the theory jo humne class mein do line mein padhi li thi, jab hum chote the. Correct. Okay. Now today teachers are incredible. India may be they have the fire within. They want, they are hungry. They and the students are equally hungry. So as a nahi hai ki unke pas uh means nahi hai ya nahi kar pa rahe hai. But infrastructures agar hum dekhte hai hamare country mein. And just tarah se, let's say um in the past, let's say if we go back 20 years, 
नहीं था इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर उस तरह का न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी नहीं आई थी हमारी उस तरह की यू नो साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी इनोवेशन पॉलिसी नहीं थी हमारी जगह पर अटल इनोवेशन लैब्स बन रहे हैं जो अब आजकल वो उस समय नहीं थे हमारे पास सो आई फेल्ट कि देखो मेरे बच्चे को अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली हमारे बच्चों को क्यों नहीं मिलनी चाहिए वो सेम अपॉर्चुनिटी विच इज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विच आई स्टार्टेड अ प्रोग्राम कॉल्ड यू नो फॉर टीचर्स ट्रेनिंग जो हमने फिर उसको इंडिया में 2016 से स्टार्ट किया था एंड ऑफ कोर्स कोविड रूइंड एवरीथिंग व्हेन वी केम बैक आफ्टर कोविड आई एम स्टिल कैचिंग अप ऑन ऑन हाउ टू यू नो कंटिन्यू दैट प्रोग्राम लेकिन आई एम सो ग्लैड टू कनेक्ट ऑन दैट नोट सो आई फील कि इंडिया में देर इज अवेयरनेस लेवल तो इट्स अमेजिंग एंड गवर्नमेंट इनिशिएटिव भी काफी है हाउ मच इट एक्चुअली कन्वर्ट्स वी हैव टू सी because there is the atal innovation mission there is the new education policy ki kaise creativity aur multidisciplinarity ko hum stem aur steam jaise aapne bola un un usme leke class mein lekar aaye unko fir of course awareness uh, increase karke kis tarah se karenge then there's a whole lot of csr and private sector and ngo ke bahut sare educational um, resources aajkal kafi uh, let's say they are in vogue i would say so people who want to do uh, students and teachers who wish to come up with 21st century pedagogies they will make it you know one absolutely so i'm very positive on that so how can we improve some areas i suppose ek to infrastructure of resources for rural areas you know so urban areas may fine there is connect there is you know अभी भी ऐसी जगह है कि जहां पर आज भाई इंटरनेट नहीं है हमारा चल नहीं रहा हमारी आज लाइट नहीं आ रही है सो हाउ टू ब्रिंग रिसोर्स ऑफ अ काइंड दैट वी विल दैट यू नो अगर लाइट भी नहीं है और नेट भी नहीं है तो भी हम क्लास में एक एग्जांपल बताते हैं कि कॉस्मिक रेज और बबल चेंबर पढ़ा सकते हैं यू नो वी कैन डू दैट सो ड्रीम कर रही हूँ मैं कि कुछ ऐसा हो जाए मुझे कहीं से रिसोर्स मिल जाए कोई टीचर मुझसे जुड़ जाए और हम बबल चेंबर्स हर रूरल स्कूल में हम लेकर जाए जस्ट एन एग्जाम्पल यू नो फिर उसके अलावा करिकुलम uh, तो आप लोग सब पढ़ ही रहे हैं उसको एंड प्रोबेबली यू नो मच बेटर देन मी ऑन हाउ द करिकुलम कैन बिकम मोर डायनामिक यू नो क्योंकि रियल वर्ल्ड एप्लीकेशन और जो हम इक्वेशन पढ़ते हैं क्लास में बिलीव मी देर इज सच अ डिस्कनेक्ट मुझे आपको बता नहीं सकती हूँ मैं कि कितने सालों के बाद मुझे अपनी क्लास टीचर का जो उन्होंने टेप ब्लैक बोर्ड पर जो इक्वेशन लिखे थे बड़े बड़े डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन और ये यू नो लिस फिगर्स ये वो इन एक्शन जब मैंने उनको देखा है इन एक्शन यू नो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट इक्वेशन ओनली देन आई कुड अंडरस्टैंड एंड समबडी सेंग हाउ कैन बी चेंज इट येस वी कैन सो लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल आई वेंट टू बिट्स पिलानी बिट्स पिलानी में एक म्यूजियम है बहुत अमेजिंग म्यूजियम है अपने बच्चों को लेके जाइए अगर पॉसिबल है तो क्योंकि वो ये ये भी नहीं कि हम नहीं कर सकते अपने कंट्री में ही है वो आई सॉ कि राजस्थान में जो डेजर्ट है उसको उन्होंने एक बकेट में डाला हुआ था ठीक है ना एक बाल्टी में डेजर्ट सैंड को सॉरी डेजर्ट सैंड को उसमें एक छेद बनाया नीचे और उस बकेट को सीलिंग पे लगा दिया एनी विजिटर विल कम एंड पिक दैट बकेट ठीक है एंड मूव इट एंड लीव इट वॉट विल हैपन द बकेट विल मूव इन अटन फॉर्म ऐसे करके मूव करेगी एंड इट विल डिजाइन अ पैटर्न ऑन द फ्लोर करेक्ट एंड दैट इज अ मैथमेटिकल इक्वेशन वो जो कनेक्ट है ना बिटवीन एन इक्वेशन एंड रियल लाइफ वहां से वो चीज शुरू होती है कि एक बच्चा बचपन में ये सोचे कि इट्स नॉट ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर टू सी स्क्वायर आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग इट वेरी सिंपल बट इट मीन्स की रियल वर्ल्ड में जब हम बाहर जाते हैं तो ये जो तीन डिब्बे रखे हुए हैं वो इन डिब्बों को इस तरह से हम यू you नो know, that's where uh, we should start the lesson from that side and then Absolutely. come back to the theory so i think i'm i'm sort of digressing from what you asked me but i i no 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 not really i think uh, you answered it uh, in a sense if i can give you what uh, what we are not doing in what you mentioned is is that example exactly we begin with theory on the contrary your son did the theory at the last that is the only difference i believe and 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 uh, but however you also know that uh, we are a resilient population so we are working on it 
and that mm-hmm. change is happening there's no two ways about it mm-hmm. and uh, we have to work i mean uh, one of the things which uh, every leader here will agree to me what i will say this is that every teacher dr archana during covid and after covid actually has taken up this mantle of truly upskilling themselves that's that's a phenomenal mm-hmm. change i am seeing in india that's one okay. thing Mm-hmm. i have seen it people are for the first time educators specifically are wanting to invest in their upskilling i mean mm-hmm. massive change mindset was the real i think change needed here and which is happening considering mm-hmm. the size of the country i mean you also know the kind the size we have we are a 1.4 billion people and if i may say more than that about the school fraternity only we have around 10 million teachers now in our country oh, that's only into the schooling yes, system right It's, it's more than the population of switzerland yes it is <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so 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 as a matter of fact i was reading this mm-hmm. reading this statistic people will laugh on it every year we add 25 million people to our population as in every year 25 million people are born in india and then you compare it to the mortality rate around 15 million people added at gets added to our population uh, yeah. anyway we will not go there because that's a no, touchy that's subject a, if you if you don't mind me interrupting i can add two things here one Please. is that there is an advantage india in terms of the 350 million young people okay absolutely so hum kya nahi kar sakte god हम क्या नहीं कर सकते इट्स लाइक द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स तो इफ वी अपस्किल लाइक यू जस्ट सेड यू नो ऑल ऑफ अस आर हियर आई थिंक वेरी फायर्ड अप टू अपस्किल एंड देयर इज नो लिमिट टू द अपस्किलिंग और यदि हम अपने बच्चों को ये एक लेट्स से पैशन पास कर दें कि भाई यू कैन डू एवरीथिंग पहली बात तो एक लैक ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस जो रहती है ना हमेशा वो खत्म होनी चाहिए एंड फॉर दैट वी नीड टू एनकरेज देम और हर चीज मेड सिंपल करके एंड लेट देम टेक द मेंटल फॉरवर्ड लाइक एब्सोल्युटली नो नो वेरी वेल सेड इनफैक्ट सी दिस इज वेयर एक्चुअली आफ्टर दिस सेशन आवर वर्क विल स्टार्ट बेसिकली व्हिच इज दैट हाउ वी विल वर्क ऑन दीस थिंग्स बेसिकली बट हैविंग सेड दिस माय फाइनल क्वेश्चन एंड देन आई हैंड इट ओवर टू एवरीबॉडी एल्स व्हिच इज व्हेन वी लुक एट stem and i said the right, last point was uh, the population of girls i had few statistics i don't want to quote them they are public domain information for that matter how do we encourage girls which was this it seen it's still not seen that girls first preference is really stem it's more to do with maybe possibly humanities leaders here school leaders example induji can share with me why do girls really go for not go for if i may say stem to begin with i may be wrong but i in my view that's the way it is i have seen across the country whatever i have spoken to why 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 it so happens example that there is no inclination towards stem by girls is is that so you asking me or you i'm i'm just asking first to induji and then i'll come to you obviously mm-hmm. yeah induji do you think what is your view on this yeah for me what she told maybe that is the reason i like cramming anything definitions and not indulging in practical then one goes for humanities at least you enjoy literature you enjoy you know poems you enjoy reading fiction or factual uh, you know stuff on science so it's all about disconnect from uh, practical like okay okay i'm not lucky enough my grandson is lucky enough in other countries they first do with do practical right mm. from uk to right right from age 5 and their capacity to analyze is far better than adults mm-hmm. and they speak their mind they are not there to please anybody they don't <laughs> bother a 5 year old says ke this is the school i like and the parents say no but that school is better no you decided your office right i didn't tell it <laughs> about office to go to so, <laughs> it's all Lovely. disconnect with the practical though we are working hard on that but still you know it's a vicious circle the way teachers have been taught to bring them out of that zone and absolutely. make it yeah. a long term a long term play basically yes absolutely take time but it will happen definitely if we continue with these kind of yes yep dr arshna yes ma'am right so on the same lines you know uh, 
as Indian parents, I also was really, you know, uh, teaching my son uh, a lot at home also, like everybody does, you know. And in his class, he was more aware than other children, the Swiss children and French children with whom he was studying. So I got a call from the school that the teacher wants to see me, you know, because he asked, how do you know these things? Well, my mama taught me. The teacher tells me, he please keep with the pace of the class, you know? So the, the, lev the, the idea is that everyone should move together, number one, and they should be able to discuss with each other. In our country, we have a very big challenge in the numbers. The competitiveness is so much that, you know, grading is the only way how people can move ahead, how students can move ahead. So the grading system becomes a, a how can I say, a very a motivating factor for the kids to cram and then to reproduce whatever they learn without really getting into the depth of the matter, you know. So one request, if there are any physics teachers here or even science teachers here, is there are so many, which you must be already doing, I'm sure. Uh, there are little cloud chambers that you can make for less than 5,000 rupees, you know. And these cloud chambers you can put in your classes. Every single day, the kids can come and watch cosmic rays in which we are showering all the time. You know, when we read about cosmic rays in the class, we just learn about it. The cosmic rays are coming from the background. Na, 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 na. We know that. But when we see them, because we have never seen radiation, we don't see it. So we don't understand it. But when that comes, then the curiosity that kicks in, that is unmatchable by, by just, uh, you know, uh, uh, teaching from the book. Even YouTube doesn't do that work. Like today, you said before, Gaurav Ji, that we are sitting here, we are looking at each other, video is important because we can interact with each other, right? Lekin, aap abhi bhi ye soch rahe ki ek in-person meeting ka kya asar hoga. Absolutely. So, it's the same thing, ki jab aap apne haath se wo physics ka process karenge, to aap usko jo samjhenge aur samjha paayenge, that is learning, you know. So, it's a bit unfortunate for women, I think, for kids and all, hume bohat early exposures dene hai education mein, bohat early. Because as somebody just said, as Induji just said about the analytical powers of the kids here. Itna matlab, they will logically defeat you. Aap ye soche, double PhD bati hum mein par and I am not able to uh, argue. You know, I am not able to negotiate so many things. Because you have to see how logically jo arguments aage aate hai, scientifically. Not, Absolutely. You know, mm. Not intimidating. Not intimidating, not speaking loudly, nothing. Bas, aap logical argument lagai apna, you know. And that's how science has to be taught, essentially. So I think ek bahut early time se hume ek um, STEM exposure dena chahiye ki how that connects with our life. How STEM connects with our life with well the family, within mm. the family, within the family. Aap ghar mein dekhiye, aap chai banate hain. To, uh, heater use karte hai, you know, jo bhi kuch hai, everything is science around us. So when the moment we start connecting those dots, STEM will flourish. Flourish. And I think, uh, curriculum mein to I think it's already being very well attended to, kyunki usko hume increase karna hai from a very young level and hands-on experiments. Fir, sec, if you another yeah, what you mentioned is about the role models. I think you are doing it, you are trying to do it. And I will not say that I am not a role model of any kind of role model. But yes, I think that my strength is that I have worked a lot. And when you work, you know, you build your muscles. You, you fall down, you build your muscles, you build your muscles. You fall down, you build your muscles, you know. When you get up and then you start again. Absolutely. I think my tenacity and my, you know, uh, not giving up attitude is really what has been there and the supportive environment that I got both in the family, both at work also, you know, and also uh, back home in India also, you know, I mean, I must say that in India, women are in a good position, mein hai, you know, I must say. Because the kind of challenges I have seen here, that's a different thing that once I started 
finding my voice and being able to articulate my points, then I could manage. But I must say I lost a lot of time just struggling with this kind of, you know, timidity that I had initially. So, yeah, I mean, I think that we are uh, coming to the point where we have to partner together as a family, as a big educational, academic, teacher, student, uh, mentor, family. And we have to make these kind of organizations like yours work together, bring every possible idea on the table and then evaluate also ourselves whether we are doing well or not. You know, we need to review, we need to give feedback. And I think the cheat code is really by focusing <laughs> and you know being tenacious. So, so let let us let us quickly address one point uh, that you sh you should never feel that you are not a role model. Let me clear this for you on behalf of everybody here. First of all, sure. you are yeah. absolutely a role model. We are all very very obviously proud of you for that matter. Sure. Uh, and uh, and we obviously will love to keep learning from this wonderful experience of yours absolutely there's no two ways about it i'm very frugal in my praises usually but this is the final time i'm saying this that you don't have to undermine your position you are definitely a role model okay See, so that, my question that is also one of the things of a woman you know wo difficult difficulty to accept <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, I, I, I completely understand, but I will keep reminding you that. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Having said this, let's quickly, now we still have 20 minutes for Q&A uh, with Dr. Rachina. Uh, all of you, if, I'm sure there are a lot of science educators also, uh, and you all must be wondering that uh, why this number has kept on 100 only. Interestingly, I was checking my my Zoom account's capacity, and I before coming to this session, I thought it must be like 1,000. I couldn't really check. There were, I've got so far around 100 messages that we are unable to join for that matter. So having said this, uh, we will now let you ask questions from Dr. Archana. You'll have to put a virtual show of hand. We'll help you unmute, and then you can ask your question. Okay. Mr. Snehal, wonderful. Yes, Snehal, over to you. You'll have to unmute yourself. Yes. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Gaurav, and good evening, Ms. Uh, Archana. Uh, good we evening. had a nice talk. I just have one question, Ms. Ms. Archana mentioned about some cloud chambers. Can you some, throw some little bit of light on that cloud chambers, ma'am? What is it like? So I already put a link in the chat. And okay. uh, you can see that link. It's essentially oh. uh, how to, and you can also Google a little bit more. It's like zero cost, if I can say like that, because it's peanuts. So, what you can... From brief to build. Okay. Discover uh, dozens of AI tools on Wix Studio. Somebody, it's not me, is it? Sorry. Sorry, I clicked. Somebody clicked. No problem. No yeah, problem. Yeah, go ahead. Started this already, so I'm, gl I'm glad. So you can see it and then, you know, uh, I'm available to do another session only on the cloud chamber. We can build one together and then you can take it in the classrooms. Thank you. Thank you so much. Gunjan Dev, your question, please. Gunjan, you'll have to unmute. Uh, yes, uh, good evening. Um, if you could just uh, tell us some real, uh, you know, strategies to make uh, the start of the lesson very interesting and engaging for the students. So myself, I'm teaching in an international school in Kolkata, Calcutta International School. And like some, uh, you know, PYP strategies or some very interesting strategies for grade uh, five to six, which can make the session very engaging for the child in the first place, in the start of the lesson. Very good point, Gunjan. And in my, uh, the the teacher's training that I have curated, it's a one-week training. Usme ek na creativity and theater bhi hai, ek module, which tells you exactly how to start the class, you know, because it has to start by either a joke or a theater or an act, something completely out of the box from where you are coming in terms of the lesson itself, right? So, 
I think if you make, I can give you many examples, of course. जैसे हम एक्सेलरेटर की बात करते हैं यहाँ पर फिजिक्स में यू नो वी वी सर्कुलेट प्रोटॉन्स एंड देन दे हैव टू स्मैश सो टुगेदर एंड देन यू नो एनर्जी विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू मास एंड तो उस सब का एक हम एक थिएटर बना देते हैं यू नो कि कैसे बच्चे एक 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 स्टेडियम में खड़े हुए हैं दूसरे स्टेडियम में खड़े हैं फिर वो आपस में बातें करते हैं फिर वो भाग जाते हैं फिर वो एक दूसरे से टकरा जाते हैं यू नो some of them get more energy etc etc so some visual you have to create you know about uh, your lesson uska jo main point hai uske teen teen let's say major uh, bullet points bana ke unka kuch theatrical start karna chahiye analogy leke there should always be an analogy jo bacche ke samajh mein aaye and remember one thing i mean i'm uh, सॉरी कि मैं थोड़ा ऐसे बोल रही हूँ जैसे कि मुझे बहुत चीज़ें पता है आई एम नॉट लाइक अ हाई स्कूल टीचर यू नो लेकिन अगर आपको अपनी मम्मी को एक्सप्लेन करना है ये चीज़ आप ऐसे सोच के चलिए एंड देन हाउ विल यू एक्सप्लेन इट टू हर इफ यू कैन एक्सप्लेन इट टू हर यू स्टार्ट योर लेसन विद डैट जस्ट इन द टू लाइन्स ऑफ वेरी 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 सिंपल यू नो थिएट्रिकल वे में देन यू कम टू द लेसन दैट्स ऑल आई कैन टेल यू राइट नाउ and uh, just to get a, give everybody a little perspective uh, this session uh, was for a very different purpose which was really to introduce uh, dr arshana to all of you really uh, i i understand you are inquisitive to ask her all these good tricks and how you can make your class better but honestly too short a time for her to really help you with that uh, the way we are planning this out is that we will work with dr arshana and her team very very regularly and we will actually create multiple such opportunities where teachers can really get into these kind of sessions or training of that matter that is largely the aim uh, this session really really is about uh, making uh, the entire journey of dr archana available to all of us and i always say this before you work with a person you should know that person that is the way it is right so uh, hence my my request is that we can put our questions with respect to uh, maybe beyond certain kind of tricks if i may say yeah over to you guys we have another 10 odd minutes we can put our questions uh, with respect to anything which i believe right can help you as at a over level level right overall level for that if i can say uh, gunjan you want to see i have left uh, i have left a link in the chat you all can copy it of course and it will show you some little tricks there on how this training is organized and then you know when we'll do a one on one later at some other time i we will go into details about that other questions yes yeah, so let's quickly take up if any question or any observation or anything which you are finding as a challenge if i may say because i think uh, at a leadership level uh when you're driving your class or you're leading your class if you have anything to do uh while you're not able to have those kind of replies i think this is the time you can ask those questions right now with dr archana right uh or how you want to say kick start the entire stem process in your school example how do you want to maybe to take that initial steps all those kind of questions right anyone otherwise we will say thank you to all of you if we i am we are getting a lot of messages people are very happy putting some messages on the chat right so okay so if we don't have that question i will say thank you to dr archana and uh, obviously uh, this is just the beginning uh, my dear friends and educators uh, we will continue to work with dr archana at meldi fold for that matter and we will keep coming back to you on a very regular basis uh, obviously dr archana is very accessible individual you obviously all can reach out to her directly as well uh, and having said this uh, i will thank each one of you who stayed back with us for this discussion uh, we will hope to meet you very soon and until then take care of yourself and somebody is saying something in the chat uh or maybe one other detail session on stem would help each one of us okay fair enough point taken we'll do that don't worry and certainly we will take uh, all these inputs this is just as i said the start uh 
we wanted to bring the best person to really kickstart our STEM sort of a training for our educators. So I felt Dr. Jashana is the best person to lead this conversation. Uh, and more than that, uh, IPN will now really at a very concerted level, wanting to work on two very specific discipline. One is STEM at a school level, which is one thing we will strongly work on with Dr. Archana and her team. And the other thing is we will very strongly encourage STEM among girls. Uh, that is something which is close to my heart, personal heart. So that is where I will like to is invest a lot of time with uh, Dr. Archana and her team, because I believe we have a long way to go as a nation in terms of STEM uh, and its adoption at the girl level for that matter. Right. So thank you very much, Dr. Archana. I know it's it's it must be what what time it is at your end right now. It must be 4.30. No it's still my work day. It's 3 p.m. <laughs> it's your work day. Okay. I know you guys are waiting for your chai and pakodas. I yes, everybody is here <laughs> waiting for chai and pakodas. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But I still have a long way to go. I have a lot okay. of things. Thank you very much. Absolutely thank pleasure you. listening to you. you. And I'm so proud. Yes. Uh, yeah. So proud that uh, we got connected and we have you with us. Take care. Bye-bye. You, you all, all the best as well. Namaste. Bye. Thank you. Take care, everybody. Stay safe.